Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Get Play Soon. In this video, we are going to accept the challenge of Arsh Goyal. Hashtag revise with Arsh. Hashtag 6 companies 30 days. So in the upcoming 30 days, we are going to solve 6 companies. And in each company, we are going to solve 15 questions. And the span is 5 days. You are supposed to complete the 15 questions in 5 days. And you can actually try maintaining a GitHub repository and share on social media with, the, with hashtags. So... These are the rules and regulations. I'll share this link in the description. Go through it. He released the first challenge given that is Microsoft. And these are the 15 questions of Microsoft. So let's get started with the first question. Question we are going to solve is lead code medium level question. Evaluate reverse polish notation. Before understanding the question, what is reverse polish notation? So reverse polish notation is nothing but a post fix expression. Post fix expression. In an expression, if between two operands, an operator is placed between two operands and it is called infix notation. Here, A star B in the infix notation, uh, the multiplication is placed between them. That's why it is called infix. In postfix, as the name itself suggests, operators follow the operands. So, it is named as postfix expression. A, B and then multiplication symbol. So, which means A star B. The next type of expression we have is prefix, where the operands follow their op operators. So, addition, multiplication and then we have the oper uh, operands A and B. So, this is a postfix expression. Postfix expression means operators follow their operands. A, B and then multiplication. Which means A into B. Reverse polish notation is nothing but a postfix expression. So, in this question, we are supposed to solve the given postfix expression and then return the integer. This is the question. Lead code question number 150. Evaluate reverse polish notation. So, in this question, we already seen the meaning of reverse polish notation. It is nothing but a post fix expression. We have to evaluate the post fix expression. So, we are given an array of strings named tokens. The string is denoted in, uh, in a variable called tokens. We are supposed to evaluate it and then return an integer that represents the value of expression. So, these are the basic rules. Uh, the valid operators are the basic operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And yeah, here are the examples. Let's go through one of them and see how the post fix expression evaluation is going on. Reverse polish notation that is given post fix expression. So consider this as the post fix expression. Tokens is equals to 4, 13, 5, division operation and addition operator. So we take empty stack here. We push the 4 into the stack and the 13 into the stack and 5 into the stack. Moving ahead, we got the operator now. We got the division operator now. To perform this operation, we need to pop the last two operands from the stack. Remember, stack is first and last of, or last and first of. So, we need to pop 5 first and then 13 first. And then we apply division operator between 5 and 13. Therefore, the result is 13 by 5. We still have one more element in the stack, that is 4. We still have one more operator in the tokens, that is addition. Going ahead, to perform the addition operator, we need to pop the element from the stack. We only have one element, that is 4. So, we add, we do the addition uh, to the 4 with the result. So, result is equal to 13 by 5 plus 4. Now, the stack is empty. Therefore, here is the result. I hope you understand the input and output and how we evaluated the reverse polish notation. So now let's get started with the coding part. The function given here is eval RPN and the input is string of tokens. So we already saw the tokens in here. Now we are using a stack to solve this problem, right? So we are declaring a stack of integers with the variable SPAC here. Now before moving ahead into solving the solution, I'm writing a separate function for the evaluation part, the evaluation of the one operator, like A plus B. So, for evaluating that plus operator in between A and B, I'm writing a new function in here. So, what are the parameters I'm taking? Integer B, integer A, and string operator. Operator is either addition, multiplication, subtraction, or division. Integer B is the first element that is being popped and the integer a is the second element that being popped. So make sure to write it in the normal format a plus b only. First a and then followed by b only in order to ignore the confusion. Now what are we doing here? In the if statement we are checking if the operator is the addition operator then what we are doing we are returning the result of a plus b. Now similarly we wrote the else statement if the operator is equal to subtraction, then we return a minus b. Please note that we can also do switch case instead of using if else statements. 
So as you know, in switch case, we have four, case, four cases. In each case, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and we can do the same. So whatever you're comfortable with, you can do that. So we are done with the evaluation part. Now let's again go to our main function that is eval RPM. So we are running a for loop in tokens. What tokens? Tokens is the inter input given in the question, the RPN expression, post fix expression. So what we are doing, we are iterating, we are running a for loop inside the tokens and checking. So if there is a operator present, operator means addition, multiplication, subtraction or division present in the tokens. Then what we are doing, we are popping the elements from the stack and then we are doing the operation. So, if plus minus into slash dot contains p, then what we are doing, we are popping the two elements from the stack and then we are taking that operator and pushing that into a function, eval function, which we wrote earlier. Now, writing the else part, if it is not an operator, if it is an operand, like for 13, 5 in the previous example, then what we are doing, we are pushing the same integer into the stack. So let's run and see what happens. I don't think I missed anything. Okay. We missed a return statement. We should write a return statement. So according to the question, we are supposed to return an integer. So after evaluating, we we get the result and we are supposed to return the result. So I'm returning the result here. Returning the stack dot pop. So we are returning the result. And uh, yes, this got accepted. So this is how we solve it. The reverse polish notation question from lead code medium level question. So let's move ahead. So that's it from my side for today. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. I hope you also uh, participate in this challenge. Uh, this is really going to benefit you guys because we are covering the medium level questions and that the most important questions, the most asked questions in the companies. And uh, we are coming with a lot and lot of stuff in our channel replacement so please stay tuned